Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Andrew and welcome to the AWS tutorial series on locked out of SSH on your EC2 server. Um, so I've seen a lot of people have a similar problem where they edit their SSH file on a EC2 server and then something goes wrong, they typed an extra letter, they typed the wrong username, they had something wrong and they are locked out. Um, so I'm here to show you a simple, easy way um, to fix that. So what I've done is I've booted two servers. One I'm going to purposefully break, and the other one I'm going to use to fix the first one. So let's get started. I'm going to SSH into this first server. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the sshd config file and I'm just going to write the word testing and break it. So I'll write testing right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart SSH. I'm going to log out and you can see when I log back in I get this uh, port 22 connection refused and that's because I've screwed up my SSH file something is broken. So good thing for me, I remember what I've done. Um, if you don't remember what you've done, you would probably want to copy over some default SSHD config file and then restart it from there. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to first stop our broken server. And what we're going to do once this is stopped is we're going to detach the volume and then attach the volume on the good server. So now I'm going to log into the good server. So we'll go ahead and log into this one. Okay. Okay, so now that our instance is stopped, we're going to detach the volume and attach it to the good server. We're going to jump over to the volume section. Um, this is the broken one. I made them two different sizes just so I could tell them apart. So we'll detach the volume. This will take just a second. And now we're going to attach it to the running server. And you can leave this device uh, here, that's fine. So this will take just a second to attach. So now what we need to do is go to the good server and we need to, uh, let's just sudo up to make things easier because we'll run a couple commands. Uh, we need to make a new directory um, and we'll call it fixing. And I'm just making this, uh, as you can see, I'm just in mount. Um, okay, so now let's wait here. Okay, so it looks like this is now attached. So we're just going to list out all of our blocks available. And we can see we've got this xvdf1. So we're going to say mount dev xvdf1. And we're going to put it to uh, the directory we created. So now that that directory is mounted, we are going to just uh, CD into that directory. And we can see as we list it out that this is just the root volume of our broken server. So we're going to go into Etsy and into SSH, and we're going to edit that broken SSH config file. And we can see that it says testing here. We can see that we broke it. Um, and so we're going to remove this save the file and now um, we need to back out of this directory and we're going to unmount it so we're going to say umount dash d slash dev slash xvdf1 okay so now if we try to list out um, what's in fixing there's nothing there because we uh, unmounted the volume so we can log out of the server now, we don't need it. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump back to volumes. We're going to detach it from our good server. And we'll give this a second. And now that it's available, we're going to reattach it back to our broken server. And now this is one thing that you're going to need to pay attention to because we need to put this back at its root volume spot. So this was SDA1. So that's one thing you'll want to pay attention to. 
and you can find that uh, all of them should be SDA one, but if you look at this one, the good server, you can see that the root device is on SDA one. So now that this is uh, attached, we're going to start the server. So we'll give this a second to start, and once it does, we'll log in and see that everything works. Okay, so now that our server is online, um, we're going to test SSHing into the box, and as long as everything works, we're good to go. And here we go, let's give it a test. All right, we logged in, everything works. So that concludes our tutorial um, of being locked out of your EC2 server uh, via SSH. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.